So have you ever wondered what makes Android actually smart? Android system intelligence is a core service which is responsible for all the smart actions you take on your Android phone. And in today's video, we're gonna learn about what exactly ASI is and how does it work. So without wasting any time, this is me Samir. You guys are watching Geeky Fight and let's start today's video. Let's start with understanding what exactly ASI means. ASI stands for Android System Intelligence and it was launched in back 2018 with a different name, device, personalization, services and got rebranded with a new logo in 2021. So ASI is not a regular app which you could use and open in the app drawer or uninstall it from your system. But it is a background service that learns your usage patterns and accordingly gives you personalized recommendations on your Android phone. For example, ASI can suggest you quick responses for your notifications and keep the screen on while you are looking at it. Or if you have rotated your phone, then my friend ASI can judge and automatically change the orientation of your screen. ASI hosts a number of smart features and some of them are live translate, live caption, now playing and of course assistant voice typing. So live captions gives you captions of any audio or video you are playing on your device. Similarly, Live Translate does the same thing by translating each and every language on your device and in real time. Assistant voice typing helps you to type accurately and exactly what you mean. And now playing is one of the most famous pixel feature that tells you which song is playing in the surroundings. So these were some features which are helped by ASI to improve the personalization recommendation. And there are many more features which you can discover and personalize in your Android phone. And now you must be wondering how actually ASI works and is it safe to share your data with ASI, you know, aka Google? And the answer is yes, ASI is designed to secure your private data on the device itself. Hence, all your personalized recommendations, all your data is on your device, not on the Google server. And the place where all these processes are happening is known as private compute core. So this means none of your data will be shared with Google. It is only collected to make your Android experience better. Also control what data ASI can access and how it can use it. You can also grant and revoke permissions for ASI to access your contacts, calendar, location, messages, etc. And you can also delete all the personalized data collected by ASI and can also reset the preferences you have set it earlier. So now you must be wondering that uh, should you keep ASI on your devices or turn it off? Well, that all depends on how much you value personalization and convenience. Of course, ASI can give you personalized recommendations and make your life easier, but it will drain some battery and it will use some amount of your firepower under the hood. And for someone who doesn't like all these smart features and want that extra power for your processors back, then my friend, you can just go into the app info and disable this app. However, this may affect the stability of your device and you may just lose some of your favorite features of your Android. So we recommend that you keep ASI on on your device as it will give you some smart replies, some smart suggestions, hence making your Android experience better over time. So that's all guys for today's video and I hope you have learned something new and interesting about ASI and how it actually works on your Android phone. If you like the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and do let me know in the comment section which is one ASI feature you use the most. Mine would be now playing make sure you subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any amazing content like this and on this note this is me samir signing off and i'm gonna see you in the next one till then Tada, see ya bye, -bye.